for the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Okay, uh, Brother Philip, God bless you. It's been a long time. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rasi Talamokori Bayatalamokori Sandalamoriate. Lezo Kore Bayanta. Just pray. Pray wherever you are. Get ready for your miracle, whatever it is. Hallelujah. Zanda Makatalabo Siandalamore. Zakore se telebo shiantayaka, la kore bakanda la moreta, le kore basanda la moko, mazokote basokori bakayata, le ganda la mokore sata, handa la mokore ba, handesh kote le basayata, le ganta la mokore baha, hakata la bosiande, lo kore bakata la bosanta, lo kore basiante le bosa. Oh, manda la mokore bayata la, yanda la mokore basata, zoko ti bashanta la moko. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hallelujah. For your miracle, your miracle, the power of God, the power of God has already begun to move. Zeto bokore basata, ligandele bosanda. I see angels. Zentele bossi katala bossi yanda hallelujah logo rebatala zanto la bossi yande le bokore ba hada bokore ba sanda la mokore ba sa hallelujah I see angels angels convening hallelujah glory to God le soko de ba sa something mighty is about to happen le kore se tele bossi kore ba. Zende mokori santa, legato lobo si ande le boko, leskore bakayata, loko reba santa, manta la boko. Hallelujah. Miracles are about to happen. Miracles are about to happen. Receive, just be receiving and receive, receiving with your heart. Just be receiving with your heart. Hallelujah. And as you receive, I want you to repent for anything that you need to repent for. Hallelujah. To make your heart right. Zoto lo bo kore basse telebosa. Lo kore sanda la mo kore bayata. Yes, we must come before God with a pure heart. Hallelujah. A pure heart. So I want you right now, as you're receiving, hi Judy. And all the rest of you who have joined in, I want you just to receive. I want you to receive it. And just tell God that you repent for whatever you need to. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now see the Spirit of God. I see the power beginning to move so mightily. So mightily, le corre basanda le mori and le mo corre te le corre se te le boshe ke se te le bai anta. I hear the Lord saying that there was someone that's watching that was raped when she was a little girl. I don't know who you are. He did not reveal your name, but he's saying she was raped when she was a little girl. Ah, oh, and she's been. 
asking for healing. She's been wanting healing, wanting healing, wanting to overcome this pain that she's been carrying. The Lord is helping you. The Lord is helping you. Yes, the Lord is helping you. I don't know who you are, but the Lord is helping you. You, that person, that little girl, when you were touched, when you were touched inappropriately, the Lord is helping you. Now I need you to help me out because as I'm calling out what I'm, what I'm being told in the spirit, I need to know, you know, what you're feeling. I need to know, you know, what's going on. Share that. That's a way of keeping your miracle. It's a way of not letting Satan come and take it. Demons don't know unless you let them know that you know and that you believe in your God. You have to open your mouth and you have to say what's going on and you've got to tell the good news that the Lord has done for you. Amen. This is how you can retain what God does for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So I hear the Lord saying, I'm touching someone's, someone's knee. Yes, someone's knee. Who are you? Someone's knee. Let me go here. Let me go here. Let me go here quickly. Who are you? Who are you with this issue with the knee? Let me go here. I need for you to speak up. Let me know who you are. Let me know, let me know who's having an issue with their knee. Uh-huh. Who is, who is that? Who is that? The knee, the knee, the knee. And the leg. I'm even seeing a leg. Someone with a leg. Yes. Don't be shy. Who are you? Who are you? Thank you, Lord. I rebuke that pain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Who are you? Okay, Michelle, that was you. You were the one that was touched inappropriately. You said you were molested when you were younger. Yes, God is healing that part in your heart. Yes, and you were carrying this pain around, but God is healing that. And you will not carry this pain any longer in your heart. Even as I speak, thank you, Lord, because your heart is so open and so willing, willing to follow Christ. Yes, I know. The Lord is saying, thank you. I, I'm, I'm saying, yes, sir. He says, I know. I, I see you. I see you, Michelle. I see you. I see your tears. Sweetie, it is all over. And God is doing it for you. God is doing it for you. You are strong and you will continue to be strong in the Lord. Amen. To God be the glory. So now, hi, Vonda, how are you? So who is this person with the knee? Who is this person? Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle, for, um, for revealing that. I know that's what the Lord said. To God be the core, I carried this shame for years. It's all over. It's all over, Michelle. It's all over. Thank you, Lord. So, okay. So now there's somebody that's with this knee issue in this leg. Hi, Vonda. How are you? And Geraldine, I know that the Lord is telling me that there was something going on with you. I don't know who you are and why you don't want to, to come forward. I don't know why. It's okay. It's okay, whoever you are with this knee. And even the neck, I'm hearing the Lord tell me, even someone who is dealing with something around their neck and I'm feeling pressure. And even as I'm speaking, that pressure is being released. And the Lord says it was pressure from stress. It was pressure from stress. Yes, but it was also a devil of sickness that was coming. Who are you? Who are you? I need to know. I'm calling these things out as the Lord is saying them to me. You are watching me right now. Who are you? I was having a little swelling in my right. So, Geraldine, yes. Ah, please, you guys, don't take so long to come out and tell me. I know. I hear the Lord. Okay, 
So you were the one, Geraldine, with the, the issue and the knee. Okay, so you all listen. When we go through this and the Lord tells me this, I need for you to come right away. Come forward right away because I see you. I, he's calling you out. Okay? So it's helpful as we go forward instead of just watching me. I need to know that you're connecting. Okay? Um, because if you want your healing, all right, then connect. Connect to receive. That's what I'm here. All right? I'm here for the Lord. To, to, to do what the Lord wants to do, okay? So, Geraldine, I hear the Lord saying that he is healing your knee, okay? So first, we dealt with the issue of the little girl, and that was Michelle Yu. So I thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in Michelle's heart now. Michelle, the, the toxins that were carried in your heart over all those years, they're being removed. They're supernaturally being removed. There are two angels around you right now, and those two angels... Who's that with the neck? Somebody's saying the neck. Okay, so that's one of my uh, one of my people, one of my uh, people here in hearts. Um, so uh, the, the right now, and, and Rhonda, you hold on, okay? I'm going to come to you too, and I haven't gotten forgotten you, Jer uh, Joe Ellen and uh, Apostle Enos. Um, so uh, Michelle, there are two angels that are around you right now, and they are removing residue. Residue. It's it's a supernatural. Um, administration that these two angels are doing to you and they are removing residue uh, God bless you Brenda God bless you wow it's been such a long time uh, they're removing residue from your heart and so you're being um, healed inside of your heart okay uh, so Geraldine yes no pain in my neck uh, okay were you having a problem with the pain in your neck Apostle Enos let me know um, okay, so, so let me know in the comments, I'm asking, was that you? Uh, okay, so Geraldine, the Lord is touching your knee and that swelling is decreasing as I'm speaking. I rebuke that pain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And even in your leg, where the knee, that part of the, uh, the calf, the Lord says, the calf, that part of the calf. Okay, okay, okay. So that part of the calf, um, that part of the calf, uh, Geraldine, and I know the Lord is saying, he said, I, I, you're feeling something. So let me know what you're feeling. Let me know what it is that you're feeling. Yes, yeah, it was a part of the calf. It was all connected. But that inflammation is draining. That inflammation is draining supernaturally as we speak. It was a sickness the devil came to uh, put on you. But that devil is gone. It's gone. Hallelujah. You're feeling heat. Yes. Okay, so that is the Lord. So receive it. Just say, I'll receive my healing with your mouth. I'll receive my healing in Jesus Christ's name. And so, Apostle Enos, I hear the Lord saying that your neck is returning to normal. It's returning to normal. You're sweating. Okay. You're feeling heat and sweating. Yes. That's the power of God. There it goes again. The power of God is flowing. So listen, guys, very important. Receive, receive, receive. Open your hearts. If you haven't repented, I need for you to do so. I want you to receive your miracle and keep it. Okay. So here, uh, we're going quickly here. Uh, we're going very quickly. Okay. So, uh, Apostle Enos, the Lord says, go and get a, um, go and get a, uh, a, a bottle of water. Go and get a bottle of water so that you can um, go and get a bottle of water because he wants you to, uh, to drink that. Amen. Glory to God. So you're already feeling uh, your healing. Great. Great, great, great. This is awesome. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, now, Joellen, are you still here? Rhonda, Rhonda, hallelujah. Glory to God. Rhonda, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Rhonda, this is what the Lord is telling me. Okay, you got it now. Tell him to drink it. 
All right, so drink that. Drink that uh, water now, Apostle Enos. And um, Joellen, I'm going to come to you in just a moment. Rhonda. So I'm hearing the Lord say, now who are you? I'm hearing the Lord say that there was, there's someone, rather. You have an uncle. A swelling is gone and I can feel the bone again. Praise the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Okay. Uh, so someone has, uh, someone has an uncle that that did something wrong to them who are you you ha you had an uncle that uh it, i hear the word illegal it was something your an uncle did that was illegal who is this person something that uh an uncle you had an uncle i need for you to think about this you had an uncle, or he was like an uncle. It was a man. And this man did something that was wrong to you. And you were hurt. So what I hear the Lord saying is that, um, that there is... Uh, vindication, 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 that you will be vindicated. Who is this person? You have to think. To God be the glory. Okay. All right. Joellen, are you ready? Praise the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Oh, wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear the Lord saying, I'm already there. He says, I'm touching her thyroid. Thank you, Lord. So, Joe Ellen, I want you to lift your hands to receive your healing now. Lift your hands to receive your healing. Thank you, Jesus. Just lift your hands to receive your healing. Oh, we give you praise. All right, so Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke that devil of sickness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. I rebuke all manner of sickness. Wow. Praise the name of the Lord. He just left that body. He just left that body. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Zote basokorian de lemoko. Hallelujah. I give glory to your name. Oh Lord, glory to your name. Oh Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Tell me what you're feeling. Because uh, Joellen, I, I see the Lord. I see the Lord, he's, he's touching your body. Thank you, Jesus. He's touching your body. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And I see someone else who had some swelling also. Another person that had some swelling. There are five angels around you now that are ministering to you. Thank you, Lord. And I hear the Lord saying that they're being healed in their back. They're being healed in their back. Okay, tell me what that means, Joellen. Tell me what you're experiencing. Thank you, Lord. And Apostle Enos, I hear the Lord saying that you're feeling much better. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay, so who has had uh, blood pressure problems? Blood pressure problems. Who are you? Tell me quickly in the comments. 
blood pressure problems. Blood pressure problems. The Lord is ready to heal you today. Blood pressure problems. Who are you? You. Rhonda, okay. I didn't want to say your name, but the Lord called your name. I was waiting for you. Yes. Blood pressure problems. And I hear the Lord, Rhonda, saying I'm ready to heal her. Mm-hmm. Yes. I feel the Holy Spirit all over me. Yes, Joellen. Because you're being healed right now. You're being healed. You'll have no more thyroid problems. The Lord is healing your body completely. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, Rhonda, the Lord says, are you ready for your healing? Are you ready for your miracle? Because before Rhonda, there was some disbelief that was standing in your way. And the Lord says she knows this. Yeah. And I hear the Lord saying, tell her don't let pride get in the way. And I hear the Lord saying to tell her to be honest and I will heal her. And he says that I'm with her and tell her, he says, he said, I hear her when she sings to me. You sing to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, the Lord said to lift her hands. Tell her to lift her hands. He says that I, yes, yeah. He says that I am uh, touching her body. So just lift your hands where you are, Rhonda, to receive your healing. And the Lord said, tell her she'll no longer have problems with uh, blood pressure. Yes, thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that devil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I command you out. Leave that body in the name of Jesus Christ. Go now. Go now. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Zote baso kori andele mo kori bakata la bose andele mosa la goraya tala bo kori bakata la bosi ente les soso la bosi andele moko. Hallelujah. I hear the Lord Rhonda saying, I'm touching her body. Just receive. So Rhonda, you say with your mouth, I receive my healing. I receive my healing. Thank you, Jesus. I receive my healing. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And I hear the Lord saying, I'm touching her. I'm touching her. And her ankles, the Lord is touching uh, even around your ankles. There's something the Lord Jesus is doing around your ankles. And, and Rhonda, for right now, he says, no typing, just receive. Because the Lord is with you right now. And I hear the Lord saying that she's being healed of high blood pressure. No more high blood pressure issues. And I hear the Lord saying, she will be amazed. She will be amazed. And I hear the Lord saying that this will strengthen her, even in her belief. Even in her belief. And even as I'm speaking, you're being strengthened. You're being strengthened, Rhonda. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. All right. Okay, Joellen, I know you're feeling better. I hear the Lord just say that Joellen, Joellen is feeling wonderful. You're feeling different. You're feeling different. Harleen, God bless you. Daniel, God bless you. Okay, uh, so... All right, so I'm listening to the Lord concerning Harleen and Daniel. Harleen and Daniel. And Daniel, the Lord is telling me you've been wanting this breakthrough for some time. And you've been praying and praying and praying. 
But the more you pray, the Lord said, the worse it seems like it got. So Daniel, the Lord wants you to give more of your heart to him. Give more of your heart to him. And I hear the Lord saying, Daniel, he says that there are things that you'll do for other people that the Lord wants you to do for him. And I hear the Lord saying that he wants uh, you to come to him with more intimacy, to have more intimacy. He wants you to come to him more, to have more of a relationship with him. You understand, Daniel? And I hear the Lord saying to tell him he plays around a lot. And the Lord said, you must stop. And the Lord said, he knows what I'm talking about. And the Lord says, <clears throat> the Lord says, Daniel, this is to you. And you'll understand what the Lord is saying. The Lord said, he said, he must respect the grace on people's lives that I send to him. And the Lord said, because he hasn't done that in the past. And the Lord says that if he do, does that, he said, tell him I will bless him. And he says, because uh, you must respect the grace, the grace that he gives on people's lives. And Daniel, he says that he understands. He understands. Now, for you and why you have uh, been praying and praying and praying for this for some time and you've not had any results. Mm -hmm. Is uh, also because there are, there are two python spirits that have, they choked your finances. And these two python spirits were sent, um, they were sent through your grandmother's side, he said, through your grandmother's side. And I hear the Lord saying that there was much witchcraft. There was much witchcraft. And the, the Lord says he knows what you're talking about. Do you understand, Daniel? Do you understand, Daniel? And the Lord is showing me even that there are two uh, witches that live near you, near your home. So I'm asking, do you understand? Okay, thank you. You understand. Okay. Okay, yes, Lord. Yes. Uh, Daniel, I hear the Lord saying... Okay. I hear the Lord saying also that he has no work. He needs work. So immediately when I pray with the Lord, these two python snakes in the spirit will break off of you and a door for work will open. 
And the Lord said, tell him it will be immediately, immediately. And the Lord says to lift your hands and receive. Lift your hands, Daniel, and receive. There's already something happening to your body as I'm speaking. I see you in the spirit. So both hands lifted. No typing yet. Both hands lifted. Put your phone down and look at it. And just receive. Because I'm right there with you now in the spirit with the Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I bind those python spirits in Jesus Christ's name. I command you to loose your grip in the name of Jesus Christ. Leave that house now in Jesus Christ's name. Never return. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire of the Holy Ghost. I cut you out of his life. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Cut Satan off from your life, Daniel, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Daniel, instantly, two angels have appeared in your house. Two angels, where you are, they have appeared. They have appeared where you are. And these two angels are ministering to the atmosphere where you are, around you. Much residue of witchcraft that came from your grandmother's side of the family is now being cleared out of your life. Tell me what you're feeling, what you're experiencing now. And even the Lord says that I'm touching his body. Thank you, Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus Christ over your son Daniel in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He is named to the Lord Jesus. Zanda moko rayata la boko riba kata la bosende le gore bakayanda la moriande lo riba kanda la mosanta la hallelujah thank you lord glory now i know there's someone else feeling heat on your body right now thank you jesus there's another healing taking place There's another healing taking place. There goes the power of God. Again. Just receive that power. There it goes again. Hallelujah. And I'm seeing now in the spirit... the Lord is showing me someone's toes and I see the power of God flowing into your toes going up through your body thank you Jesus and I hear the Lord saying I'm touching someone's hand
Pastor Tunde, the Lord is touching your hands again. And there's like a shaking inside, a shaking inside. Tell me what you all are feeling in the comments. Let me know, connect. I need you to connect. God bless you, Pastor Andrew. God bless you, Nicole. Someone else with a neck issue. Who are you? Who are you? Five demons came to attack you. This is not the other person that got healed in their neck earlier. This is another person. I feel the anointing so strongly. Five demons came to attack you. And it was in the night. And I see that you were sweating in the bed. And I see that you were afraid. Thank you, Lord. And they cause pain in the body. Who are you? Who are you? I can't help you if you don't connect, if you don't let me know. To God be the glory. Let us know what the Lord is doing. Let us know what else he's doing in you. Let us know. And I see someone that's holding back. Someone's feeling something that the Lord is doing and they're not saying a word. And I hear the Lord saying, I will withdraw myself. Don't let that happen. Okay. Uh-huh. So you have, so who is this person that I saw sweating in the night? You woke up, you were afraid. You may not have known that five demons came to attack you, but you had an experience in the night. Who are you? Who are you? Thank you, Daniel. To God be the glory. Tell the people what that feels like so they know. People need to understand what it feels like. That's why this is important because you're telling other people so they understand what it feels like when Jesus touches you. And for them to know that God does this. That God does this. His power, he is here. And his power, it just transcends anywhere. This is why you have to protect your miracle. You can't let demons come and take them. You can't let Satan take them. We overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony about what God says. Amen. Geraldine, so that was you. I saw someone's toes in the spirit. And you can feel heat and anointing, the anointing on your toes. And so you're saying it was you that was attacked in your dream. Rhonda, did you, I don't know what I had means. Please uh, make that clear. I feel relieved, David. I feel total peace in my heart. Sweating again, yes. Okay. Uh, Rhonda, let me know what let me know what that means. Uh, Essiet, I'm gonna pronounce. I hope I'm pronouncing it that way. Janetta, God bless you. Essiet, I hope I'm. Uh, uh, I, I hope that I'm pronouncing it that way. So, okay. Now this is how you you're giving praise. Give God, we give you praise. Father, we thank you. Lord, thank you. For these healings. Thank you. Okay, Essiet, great. I'm, I'm glad I'm pronouncing it correct. Thank you. To God be the glory. We give 
We give the Lord all the honor and the praise. I'm just speaking what I hear him saying. Amen. The Lord is here moving, touching the Holy Ghost. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay, so Rhonda, you're saying uh, me and my mother was in a car accident on May 20th, and you and your mother were in a car accident on May 20th. You passed out, wow, going 55 miles per hour driving. You were in the hospital for five days. Okay. All right. Okay, so now, Essiet. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Essiet. The Lord is telling me he's already touching your body. He's already, there goes the power of God. So I want you to receive that, S-E-A. Just say, I receive my healing. I rebuke that pain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke the pain in the chest. I rebuke the pain in the legs. I rebuke the pain in the back by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Be healed now. There it goes, Essiet, the power of God. Be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There it goes again, the power of the Holy Ghost. There it goes. It's flowing. It's flowing. Essiet, receive. And I want you others, the Lord said, to receive right now the power of the Holy Ghost is flowing mightily. Very strong. There it goes. I see the power flowing. I see the power flowing. Receive it. Receive it. Say, I receive it. I receive it. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone sweating. Sharing, God bless you. I'm seeing someone sweating. See I hear the Lord saying that she's already feeling some relief. And I hear the Lord saying that those demons that tormented her are gone. Monarica, God bless you. They're gone. Okay, Geraldine, you're sweating. I'm seeing that in the spirit. Thank you, Lord. I hear the Lord saying, Geraldine, that case is coming to an end. She will have closure. To that child protective case in 2020 in the name of Jesus Christ. And this is the case the Lord is speaking of. As he yet you're feeling heat all over your body. Yes, that's the power of the Holy Spirit. Just keep receiving that. To God be the glory. There it goes again, the power of the Holy Ghost. Just receive it. I want you all to receive it. Hallelujah right now. Just receive right now. A special impartation. Receive it. Lift your hands. Say, I receive. I receive. Even for a financial miracle, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bless them with a financial miracle. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I bless them, Lord, with a financial miracle, a financial miracle, a miracle in their finances, miracles in their finances, in the name of Jesus Christ, miracles in their finances. Hallelujah. There it goes again, the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Holy Ghost. All pains gone. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Zakorabai siantala mokorisata. Hallelujah. Just receive it. Oh, masokorebaka. Keep receiving it. Receive it. Receive it. Say, I receive. I receive. I receive. I receive. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory, glory, glory. Pastor Tunde, I see your new house. Thank you, Lord. 
the Lord is showing me in Nigeria a new house. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He shall move. Move. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. And Rhonda, I hear the Lord saying, he said, tell her, I'm touching her hands. I'm touching her hands. And I'm seeing something gold around you. Something gold. Something gold, Rhonda. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. And I hear the Lord saying this, this many of you that are feeling heat now. Many of you are feeling a heat, a warmth. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit is surrounding you. He's surrounding you. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And Pastor Andrew, I hear the Lord saying that I have a new place, that there is land, there is a portion of land. The, the Lord says he's been praying for, that the Lord says I'm releasing to him. And I hear the Lord saying it will be this year. It will be this year. You're feeling it so strong, Essiet. Yes. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Oh, Master Jesus, thank you for the healings. Thank you, Lord. We love you so much. Thank you, precious Jesus. God bless you. God bless you, Asi. So, Pastor Andrew, this land, this land, this land, I name it to you, Pastor Andrew Rakesa, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is yours, so you must receive it. I'll receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I see the land the Lord is showing me in the spirit. I even see some chickens on this land. And I hear the Lord saying that he has seen this land before. That he has visited this land. And I hear the Lord saying that I have kept it. I have kept it for him. And I hear the Lord saying that he has worked hard for me. He believes so much in his heart. And I hear the Lord saying that he loves me. He loves me with all his heart. And I hear the Lord saying I'm going to honor him. Thank you for that, Rhonda. We must share in the goodness of what the Lord does for us all. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Who is, who is the other person? The Lord says there is another person. that needs healing in their feet. Who are you? You're being quiet, or either you didn't say anything about it. But there's another person right now that's watching that needs healing in their feet. Who are you? Thank you, thank you. Who are you, who are you? Me, okay, you. Minister Michelle, God bless you. Okay, you, 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 thank you. I hear the Lord saying, tell her I'm touching her feet. I'm touching her feet. Praise the name of Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. And the Lord says she's already being healed. There was a demon of sickness that entered your house. And it was one night about three nights ago. And I hear the Lord saying this problem with, that you had with the foot, it wasn't always. It wasn't always. It was something that just kind of came recently. And I don't know what the recent is, but that's what the Lord said. 
But the Lord said, I'm touching her feet. And I'm healing her and she won't have a problem with this again. And I hear the Lord saying that she couldn't wear shoes that she wanted to wear. But now she'll be able to. And I'm even seeing the side of the foot. The Lord is showing me the side of the foot. Talk to me. Talk to me, Michelle. Uh, tell me, to, uh, the side of your foot. That's what the Lord is showing me. Uh, like, uh, if you will, um, okay, let's just face, say, for example, I'm not saying which one. So either the left or the right. If you're looking down, uh, it's the side. Okay, that is correct. It's the side of the foot. Not the inner side, but the outer side of the foot. And I hear the Lord saying that's where some of the pain was stemming from. But now the Lord says she's being healed. And I hear the Lord saying, tell her that I want her to walk around the room where she is. Walk around. Just get up and walk around. And the Lord said she'll notice that the pain is going. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke you devils. You devils of sickness. I rebuke you by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I command you to go now. They're gone. You devil. I see you over there. Go. In the name of Jesus. It just left. Thank you, Lord. Okay, uh, Michelle, you should be feeling better. Minister Michelle, thank you, Lord. Let me know, let me know what's going on. And I hear the Lord saying to just walk around five times, five times wherever you are. Just walk around five times <clears throat> to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. Okay, what does that mean? How are you feeling, Michelle? To God be the glory. God bless you, Larry. God bless you. Okay. Oh, Lord, we thank you for these multiple healings. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the delivery, the finances, the release. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Judy. Uh-huh. So, uh, Mr. Michelle, you're saying you're feeling some numbness. I rebuke that numbness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So the Lord says, by faith she must be healed. And the Lord is saying to tell her, there are different ways that the Lord heals. There are different ways. Remember, in the Bible there were different miracles, different types of miracles, different ways that people were being healed. And the Lord is saying that you must receive yours by faith. You must receive yours by faith. And I hear the Lord saying, Michelle, oh, it will. But here's the thing. The Lord says this. In my left toes. The Lord says this. And these are his words. He says, she too has doubted me even though she's preached about me. She must believe my word fully. And he says not to not let problems that come around her Blinded to her need for redemption and severe wickedness on the inside, Amelia's pursuit for love, greed, and recognition catapults her on an unforeseen journey. The stakes of competing are high, as the truth of what's really inside people who do evil things is hidden. Suffering from the hand of wickedness in the mind and heart of another is painful. So one begs to answer the question, at what cost can a wicked heart be redeemed?
Love First to Forgive takes the reader on a journey that captures the heart. From the cast of characters to the thrilling action and teachable lessons, the story envelops the reader with hope is done. And the only one who can change the heart of a sinner. The Holy Spirit. Love first to forgive. A powerful must read for all culture. Order your copy on Amazon today. Search. Love first to forgive Sabrina Marie Evans on Amazon. Oh, no.